One of the hardest messages of a pagan priest is that loving form of rebuke. A woman who professes the minute she arrives in front of someone that she's an addict is already addicted to the reactions of the potential of the person that she is displaying her medical rights to. Medical rights is something that is a privacy issue. If you have an addiction that you're trying to get over, every single person you meet in life doesn't necessarily have to know. The value of the relationship was, I didn't need to know based on what she was attempting to do, but the attempt was, I want each child to give you some sort of dollar or some sort of money, and the answer might have been right or wrong, but God was not pleased with her wanting to make her children provide income. You see, I'm a man who is a minister, I do accept loving donations, but most of the time, most people are aware that a minimum $5 minimum is sort of standard. But to live in America today, in the Midwest at the very least, a man needs $20 to $30 a day to function. Now she talked about how someone basically relating a story that I had sort of spoken about in one of my minister sessions had literally she had given her last twenty dollars to some guy and, and she apparently followed him and he went off and bought alcohol my response to her was not actually delivered through Christ because God didn't have me do that my typical response to that is ma'am you chose to donate for whatever reason you were inked or inclined to do that Maybe to prevent your own addictions, I didn't say. But generally speaking, once we give that money, it's no longer our responsibility. The individual has the right, like me, to choose to purchase food that fits my health, my cellular needs, or to choose a different type of party line. And I don't do that. I don't have a party line. And openly, I'm more interested in doing the right thing. Doing the right thing was to decline the money from the children because of the immoralness of that adult thinking those children should give up their dollar. Now that caused a tantrum in the nine-year-old. The older boy who is 14 seemed to understand the power of choice. When I tried to educate the daughter on the power of choice, she tantrumed more as if I was a part of her family. That is an immoralness that that mother is going to deal with the rest of her life. She will struggle with that daughter if she doesn't get her in line. The problem is that parents today don't know how to put the real world activities of building a reputation that is correct into their children's hearts, minds, and souls. That is something we have to work on in schools, but in truth, parents are the greatest impact and grandparents are the greatest impact on our children. So if we're trying to raise liars, thieves, and cheaters, then by all means keep lying, stealing, cheating other people out of their rights in front of your children.